What's up guys, it's your boy CJ and welcome back to the move. If you guys have not watched the first video, you are in the wrong place. Go back and go watch the first video part one of this um, and now you should be caught up after that you guys have watched it now. Um, you should be caught up. Where I left off last time was about talking about the first day. So in the first day of basic training, what you guys can expect is a lot of shouting right this is past when they got off the bus and everything like that you went through um intake medical intake and everything like that right now you get on a bus and they put you in platoons based off your last name uh once you do that you go in they they put you on a bus and you go to your um your battery or your basically where you you, there's first second third and fourth platoon and um delta alpha delta echo company basically your company that's what it's called i just remember um and then yeah basically that happens and once that happens you are basically with your team your squadron who, whoever you're gonna be with for that time right you're gonna get to know each other very well because you guys are going to go through a lot of tough things throughout the next 10 weeks uh, of your life right um so basically what happens when you go through uh, this process um your life is going to really change right the first day you're not going to know what to expect or anything like that it's going to be drill sergeant shouting at you and everything like that um they're going to make you repeat things over and over if you guys are not listening you guys are not doing anything basically they're just going to break you and not to sound so like crazy tough in it or anything like that, but that's the truth. Uh, they go ahead and break you guys uh, down. Some people, you know, you don't, you're not really broken or you act like it, but uh, tip of advice, uh, try to stay out the way, but if you're gonna stay in the way, actually do the right thing because at the end of basic training, they select one person who is usually like the platoon leader or the guide on or whoever, um, they select them to go ahead and get promoted. So at the end of your um, at the end of your ten weeks, if you want to get promoted, um, put forth a lot of work um, and basically be a leader, right? If you are if you're gonna be a leader, you're gonna get promoted really fast throughout the military and stuff like that. So that's one thing that you guys can expect from uh, throughout your t uh, time. There's like different phases, like blue, red, uh, yellow, whatever. There's a lot of different phases that goes on throughout that um, basic training. Uh, period um and the first phase is basically you guys are you guys have zero freedom they tell you exactly what to do um exactly what time to wake up uh you, you have to have fire guard if you don't know what fire guard is like basically rotations throughout the night um making sure that you you pull security and stuff like that oh those times were not very fun um but yeah i wouldn't do it again but it was a good memorable uh moments um a lot of your cool cool friends are gonna that's just, i just remember i should really probably contact a lot of them um but like, a lot of your cool friends are gonna be made there that's actually not where a lot of your best friends are gonna be made ait is where a lot of your best friends are made but a lot of people who um you really like you just really fuck with man they're gonna be up there and you're gonna you know go through this tough moments with them depending on the time of the year i went through when it was december so like you know it started snowing one time um you guys are gonna go through what's called the anvil uh basically night missions stuff like that um and it basically just you know molds you into you know a soldier and everything like that um you're gonna go through physical a lot of physical fitness you're going to be preparing for what's called the acft um yeah acft nowadays because they changed it and everything like that um so the acft um you basically have to pass it in, in order to move on uh, if you went through i personally i went through uh what is it called uh holiday block leave so there was a block in between like christmas time where people elected to go back home and stuff like that i didn't like to go back home but some people who did if you do like make sure you know you're not smoking weed or doing anything like that because a lot of people they came back and literally got booted out because um 
they we we had a drug test and everything like that and and they got uh booted out um there's gonna be phases where uh you're gonna go through weapons qualifications and stuff like that they're gonna teach you how to shoot an m16 uh rifle and everything like that you're gonna be, have phases where you're just in the room all day cleaning your weapon you're using you're using uh, ear picks and stuff like that just cleaning your weapon they're going they're gonna teach you how to fully dismantle a weapon and how to fully put it back together um i honestly yeah i mean i could probably do it again but <laughs> just thinking back like yeah i could probably do it again but um yeah they're gonna teach you that uh how to they're gonna just basically teach you all of the basic things that you need to know in order to succeed as just a, a soldier uh they're gonna teach you basic combat skills um how to carry your weapon how to like you know cover and concealment they're gonna teach you different like uh, drills uh, uh warfare war warfare and everything like that excuse me guys and basically teaching you exactly what you need to know to be successful in the military um you're gonna go to the field a lot you're gonna do a lot a lot of ruck marches they tell you exactly what to wear basically you have a packing list um there's packing lists in the army like non-stop even if you go to your first duty station or whatnot you're always going to have packing lists so all of these things that they're teaching you are going to get you ready for to be a productive uh soldier in the military um what what's give my line pt i, I think i did touch bases on pt they're going to teach you uh, in the morning every day you're going to do uh the bend and reach and basically everything that comes with uh pt and then i'm trying to make this video short but yeah, you have you go through the Seaburn course. Uh, the Seaburn born the Seaburn course is basically where you go and you put on the face mask and they kind of get you to smell um, the basically the chemicals and stuff like that. So you know what it feels like, how it is in a uh, in a Seaburn environment and everything. You have different team building exercises um, and stuff like that. You actually do end up going to what's called like classrooms so they teach you like land nav land navigation um and basically how to find points on coordinates and stuff like that you'll go through these multiple times throughout your um career and stuff like that um and then you they teach you about like your uh, dress blues uh pinks and greens that's what they call it nowadays and um basically how to put everything on this is throughout when you're probably on like your last phases of your um your basic training they basically teach you how to put on your dress uniform where all the pendants and stuff like that goes um the beret and everything like that um they teach you oh every morning you're gonna be uh, singing the soldier's creed like the soldier's creed i had an american soldier blah blah, blah blah you go through the whole thing all Every single morning, you're gonna go through that, um, and basically, and then afterwards, you're gonna go through graduation. Um, if you completed all of those things, um, there's times where you're gonna sleep at night in the tents. You're gonna, you know, sleepless nights and everything like that. But the great thing about it is, you gotta remember it's only ten weeks, and it is some tough times, but you can get through it. If I got through it, if a lot of other people got through it, you can get through it too so um yeah that's basically how everything goes at basic training if you guys love this video or i give you any value um anything that to look forward to because this is what you're basically gonna be doing during basic training uh, make sure you hit that like button and share this video to a friend who is going or or is interested in going into the military and everything like that i thank you guys for watching this video make sure you you watch the previous video and some other videos about the military blah blah, blah stuff like that and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace